Hey you all there virtual builders and farmers, how you all doing? Thanks for clicking and welcome to a little video on how to sushi pause. Since the developers at Garden Pause gave us the lovely additional crops of rice and seaweed, it was only the uh, perfect choice to include a new workbench for us. Ta-da! The sushi station, as well as the rice mill and crop patties. The update prior introduced these helpful seaweed growing poles and a variety of new fish species. All this combined gives everything needed to craft a proper sushi restaurant. So uh, here we go, let's get started. Luckily this one's a pretty simple foundation layout which is easily scalable. Six foundations down one side and four down the other making an L-shaped building foundation. By the end, there will be a three stories high and have plenty of deck space. Underneath is some wooden platform space near the edges of the foundations, including the over the water portion. Once you've settled on a spot to build and put in a foundation, you can start on a deck at this point. Or you can leave it until the end or omit it altogether. I experimented with it and wasn't sure if it would look best with the original texture of the foundations uh, or painted, so this is, example was done with half wooden foundations. But if you plan on painting in the end, you can save yourself some trouble with the item shifter and use half walls here too. Uh, one half foundation or wall down, then a runner of another foundation, rinse and repeat. Let's move on to getting up some structure. This build consists of glass walls and doors along with the full and short plaster walls. Mostly glass, aside from the back half that's facing the hill. There's a tip here. When in creative mode, the item shifter has a clone option for copying the items that you've already just placed. That's how items are magically appearing for me to shift them around. Find a place for a staircase and top the floor off with wooden foundations. Another round of glass, but this time shortening the longer side of our L-shaped building by two foundations to give this a sort of cascading side design. Room for more patio dining. Another staircase and repeat a layering off of foundations. Now when moving on to the third floor, which is just going to be reduced down to a rectangle of four long by two wide and topped off with more foundations for a roof. Just going to go with a modern look for this build. To shape the side patios on the roof, we follow a similar formula used on the deck below. We use a half wooden foundation or a half wall as a step down, then add a foundation for the runner, and then another half wall to connect the decks together. 
Then trim each side with another set of half walls. Line around the patios with short walls, fences, or both. And to revisit the first floor and construction of the deck, at the door space add on a 3x2 set of wooden foundations with platforms tucked underneath. Two more wooden foundations attached to the floor above, and then use a staircase to connect both. Short walls or fences would work in this application for a barrier around these edges. Just depends on your style. From here, it's all about getting creative with how you want to create the interior space. I'm going to do some classic restaurant booths by adding in some half walls as dividers, then adding identical couches on both sides of a table of choice. Given this is a sushi place, I recommend going with the newly added sushi stations and putting in as many as possible because they're quite detailed and cute with all the food prep that's modeled into the table. One cut off to use fridges, but there's also the marble display cases to show off more foods that are craftable in the station. Might as well toss some decorative rice mills and crop patties around the exterior to make the most of the theme. It's a little montage break while I uh, finish this off. One of the other recent creations added to Garden Paws is the Magic Mannequin. Sparkly and decorative in itself, this display can go live too. Not only can you add clothes and accessories to it, but when adding a skin, it transforms the mannequin into an animated NPC that will run around, sit, and do other random actions. These add a ton of life and expression to any build, and plus gives opportunity to show off all the fashions you've collected. If you need to step it up into being even more adorable, your restaurant can totally be pet friendly. And this is Garden Paws, a must put flowers and plants everywhere. So regularly building in this game has left me with the habit of decorating with as many flowers as possible in every building game that I play. This will always be among my favorite places to build though. Hopefully you're doing a lot of creating in your own worlds on Garden Paws and this could help you get started with some ideas. Looking for more builds or how-tos, you might find upon the channel. Now for me to get back on to hammering my way to the next build, take care y'all, and bye bye